For decades, we have believed that black holes were nothing more than bottomless, cosmic abysses, devouring everything that came near. But what if, in reality, they were portals to something much greater? What if, instead of an endpoint, a black hole was the cradle of a new universe? The idea may seem absurd, but some of the world's greatest physicists suggest that black holes could be the key to understanding the true workings of the cosmos. And the most terrifying part? There is a real chance that everything we know, our galaxy, space, and even time itself, is already inside a colossal black hole. If this is true, then our reality may be just one among infinite others, connected through black holes that constantly create new universes. But how could this be possible? And are we destined to repeat this cycle forever? Black holes are known for their extreme gravitational force, which captures everything around them, even light. But what happens to whatever crosses the event horizon? The most common theory suggests that everything is crushed into the singularity, an infinitely small and dense point. However, there is another far more intriguing possibility. What if, instead of collapsing, what happens inside a black hole is actually the birth of a new universe? Some physicists suggest that upon reaching the singularity, matter could be recycled and ejected into another dimension, creating a new reality with its own laws of physics. This would mean that each black hole is, in fact, the starting point of a newborn universe. Just as our own may have emerged from a black hole in a previous universe, if this is true, it would mean that not only are black holes scattered throughout the cosmos, but each one could contain its own universe. And the inevitable question arises, if we are inside a black hole, how could we ever know? If you want to create a black hole, you don't need exotic ingredients or a cosmic laboratory. All you have to do is compress matter to a critical limit. Take Earth, for example. If we could shrink it down to the size of a coin, it would become a black hole. The sun? It would have to be reduced to the size of a small city. But here's the catch. A black hole doesn't have to be made of something extremely dense. In fact, the bigger it is, the less dense it needs to be. This means that, in theory, if we had an absurd amount of air, something like a balloon the size of the solar system, filled with trillions of tons of gas, it could become a black hole. No violent explosion, no dramatic collapse, just a smooth and inevitable formation, which leads to an even more mind-bending question. What if the universe itself is a gigantic black hole? The image of a black hole as an ultra-dense abyss sucking in everything around it does not tell the whole story. In reality, the density of a black hole can be surprisingly low. A black hole with the mass of the sun would be incredibly compact, but the true giants of the cosmos tell a different tale. The monster at the center of the Milky Way, for example, weighs four million times the mass of the sun and has a diameter of 24 million kilometers. Yet its density is equivalent to something as improbable as a few blue whales spread across each cubic meter. Meanwhile, the black hole IRAS 20100-4156, with a mass of nearly four billion suns, has a density so low that it could be compared to the air we breathe. If a black hole can have such a subtle density, and if the universe itself has a similar average density, could we be living inside a colossal black hole without even realizing it? Looking around, the universe seems vast and infinite, filled with galaxies, stars, and nebulae scattered across space. But what if, in reality, all of this exists inside a gigantic black hole? The idea may sound absurd, but the numbers tell an intriguing story. The observable universe has a radius of 45 billion light years and contains trillions of galaxies. If we took all this matter, stars, gases, dark energy, and spread it out evenly, the average density of the cosmos would be just a few hydrogen atoms per cubic meter. And here's the detail that challenges our intuition that density is precisely enough for a black hole the size of the universe to exist. If this is true, it would mean that everything around us, every planet, every star, every galaxy, could be inside a cosmic black hole. But there's a problem with this theory. Our universe is expanding, and conventional black holes don't expand like that. Unless a, there is a trick we don't yet understand. And to grasp that trick, we first need to ask, 
what really happens inside a black hole. If you've heard that nothing escapes a black hole, you might imagine that its interior is just a dark, meaningless void. But reality could be very different, and even stranger than any science fiction. Upon crossing the event horizon, the point of no return, something incredible happens. Space and time switch places. Outside, time moves forward relentlessly while we can freely navigate through space. But inside a black hole, space stretches infinitely, and time, instead of flowing as we know it, becomes a one-way path leading to a single destination, the singularity. And here's the most intriguing part. From the inside, a black hole might appear like an entire universe, with no center and no edges, where you could walk forever in one direction and never reach an end. But this universe has an expiration date. It's collapsing. Everything inside is being squeezed into a final point in time. And if that sounds familiar, it's because there's a theory suggesting that a black hole might be recreating exactly what happened to our own universe during the Big Bang. If everything inside a black hole is being crushed into a final point in time, does that mean it simply erases everything it consumes? Not necessarily. There's an intriguing hypothesis suggesting that, instead of an absolute end, a black hole might actually be the beginning of something entirely new. A new universe. Think about the Big Bang. The universe emerged from an extremely dense and hot state, rapidly expanding to form everything we know today. Now imagine a collapsing black hole where all matter is compressed into a single point. To an outside observer, nothing can be seen beyond the event horizon. But what if, within that collapse, space-time is reconfigured and a new reality emerges on the other side? This idea, known as the Big Bounce, suggests that a black hole could actually be a portal to the creation of a new universe. In other words, every time a black hole collapses, it could be triggering a new Big Bang, and perhaps our own universe was born this way. But if this is true, an even more astonishing question arises. If black holes can create universes, does that mean we are part of an infinite chain of realities? If every black hole can give birth to a new universe, then our own universe might be just one in an infinite chain of realities. But this raises an even more intriguing question. Does this cycle have a beginning, or does it go on forever? Imagine a primordial universe, the very first of them all, generating black holes that gave rise to new universes, which in turn created more black holes, and so on. Each of these new universes could have its own physical laws, slightly different from the previous one. Perhaps some would be completely hostile to life, while others might favor the formation of stars and planets in abundance. This idea was proposed by physicist Lee Smolin in the theory of cosmological natural selection. According to him, universes that produce more black holes have a higher chance of generating new universes, creating a kind of cosmic evolution. In other words, our universe may have been selected because its physical laws allow for the formation of massive stars that collapse into black holes, perpetuating the cycle. But if this is true, it suggests something even more astonishing. Our universe may have been shaped by a process similar to the natural selection we see in biology. If Lee Smolin's theory is correct, then our universe is not a mere accident, but the result of a cosmic process similar to biological evolution. Just as living beings that best adapt to their environment are more likely to pass on their genes, universes that produce more black holes may have a higher probability of generating new universes. This means that, over countless cosmic generations, the laws of physics may have adjusted to favor the creation of massive stars, which eventually collapse into black holes. And this leads to an unexpected consequence. A universe optimized for producing black holes also happens to be a universe where stars and planets are abundant. In other words, a universe that creates many black holes might, unintentionally, also be a universe where life has the best chance to thrive. If this hypothesis is correct, then life may not be a rare and improbable event. On the contrary, it could be a natural byproduct of a universe shaped by countless previous cycles. But this raises an even deeper question. What if our universe is just one among an infinite chain of realities? If every black hole can give birth to a new universe, and if the laws of physics evolve to maximize this cosmic reproduction, then a disturbing idea arises. What if there was never an original universe? 
Instead of a starting point, we might be trapped in an infinite structure of universes creating universes with no beginning and no end. Each new reality would be born inside a black hole from a previous universe, carrying with it slight variations in physical laws. Some universes might be stable, allowing galaxies, stars, and life to form. Others, perhaps, might never escape absolute chaos. And here's an even more mind-bending thought. If this theory is true, then our universe not only had a parent, but is also giving birth to new universes at this very moment. Every black hole we observe could be the cradle of a new reality, a cosmos of its own that, to its inhabitants, would seem as vast and infinite as ours. But this leads to one final question. If our universe was born from a black hole, will it one day come to an end? Or is it destined to continue this eternal cycle of creation? If every black hole can generate a new universe, and if our own universe is the result of this infinite cycle, then an inevitable question arises. How does it all end? Is there a limit to this cosmic reproduction? Or are we trapped in a system with no beginning and no end? But black holes are not the only mysteries of the cosmos. There is an even more enigmatic and potentially catastrophic phenomenon, a type of matter so strange that it could devour entire planets and alter the very laws of physics as we know them. If you want to understand how this strange matter could threaten the universe and even Earth's existence, watch our previous video, Strange Matter, the cosmic danger that could swallow planets. And if you love exploring the mysteries of the universe, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming videos.